Welcome back to the Quick Shifter install tutorial for the Honda Transal Pixel 750. We have here the installation instruction first, so uh, we'll just take a look at them and uh, try to respect uh, some of the recommendations which are presented here. So we have the Quick Shifter, the accessory name, the part number, and also uh, important informations which I highly recommend you read it. So we have some warning, caution, notices uh, and uh, refers to the manual also. First of all, we have also the torque information which is included in the manual, but it will be provided uh, during the installation video. So please check it out during the video. And uh, let's check out the uh, first part of the rally kit, which is the quick shifter. The quick shifter comes uh, as you already saw the unboxing it comes uh, with different pieces different parts let's check them out we have the gear change arm the tie rod bolt stroke sensor 7 35 millimeter socket bolt color a 7 millimeter flange nut clip band a stay and a 6 uh, 40 millimeters sh flange bolt so here they are on the left side you can uh, take a look at the parts you already saw it on my unboxing presentation and let's start with the installation first this is uh, just an installation guide this is not the service manual this installation guide uh, link you have it uh, inside the quick shift uh, box and you can uh, download it from the website so uh, what we first have to do it's uh, disconnect the negative cable from the battery before we start working on the quick shifter. Then uh, we have to remove some parts. Uh, actually, the original, uh, the original uh, gear shifter lever, gear shifter pedal needs to be removed. Also, we have to remove this plastic part which uh, keeps all the cables in place and covers uh, part of the gear shifting uh, gear shift pedal also we have some uh, we have to fix the harness as shown cut off the excess end of the wire tire leaving a maximum of five millimeter you can afterwards uh, pause the video and take a better look at this installation instructions let's proceed we have to install the parts of the quick shifter uh, before we mount it. We have to install it as shown in the picture. And then uh, we have to install this uh, bracket on the upper side. Then we have to pull the harness out and connect it as shown. You can see here on the left side. And on the right side, we have a CKP sensor connector, which uh, has to be removed, has to be disconnected first. And also we have a dummy connector, which is uh, placed uh, on the left side. As you will see in the installation video, we have to take it out. And here we're going to place the new connector from the gear shifter. Then we install back the harness in the reverse order of removal and install the sprocket cover in the reverse order of removal. So actually this plastic, uh, this plastic which we saw here is the sprocket cover. We're speaking about this plastic over here, the sprocket cover. And basically these are the steps which we're gonna follow in this video. Then we have to mount on the bracket the rest of the rest of the cables we have to reuse one bolt for the gear shift uh, in the upper part align we have to align uh, on the right side you can see there is a dot and we have to align it with the, that spot over there and the most important measure the length of the gear shift um, arm which you have to measure it precisely we have here the correct measurements take your time and uh, try to be as close as possible to the uh, right measurements of course uh, according to your 
to your dimensions, to your uh, measurements, you can actually readjust it afterwards. We have some nuts which we're gonna reuse. And here we have to adjust the same height as the original pedal position if possible. And then we have to install the motorcycle parts in the reverse order of removal. You must confirm that any harness is not caught or too tight. Harness means the cables, they have to be uh, not too tight and uh, to have some free play. After we install the mechanical part of the uh, quick shifter, then we need to activate it. We have to open the seat and connect the SCS shore connector. This connector you will find it either at the dealer, at the Honda dealer, and you can buy it actually if you want to make it uh, for yourself this procedure. After we are entering in the setting mode, uh, it is quite uh, simple. We go to equipment, quick shift, uh, we put it on. We turn uh, the ignition switch off and remove the SCS short connector. And of course, we need to initialize the quick shifter afterwards. Open the seat, connect the SCS short connector, turn the ignition switch on with the engine stop switch run, but does not start the engine. Push and hold the right select switch to enter the setting mode. Service, quick shifter initialize and initialize OK. Preparing for initialization. Start the engine and let it idle, hold the neutral gear position, wait until switch to the display shown, do not touch the pedal, and you will find a message which, uh, with initialize succeeded. If uh, the initialization failure, you have to restart the initialization again. If uh, you don't manage it, you have to uh, repeat the initialization uh, to check the mounting state of the stroke sensor. Turn the ignition switch off and remove the SCS connector. This connector, I repeat, you find it at the Honda dealer. You can buy it or you go to the dealer to make this procedure for you. It's time to install the rally pack on the Transalp. We'll take it step by step. First, uh, we're gonna install the quick shifter, then uh, some parts of the knuckle guard, the foot pegs, and then we're gonna move to the skid plate and the engine protection bars. I'm really glad to see a lot of transparency here at the Honda service uh, by ASCO Group. Uh, if you are located in Bucharest or you are actually passing, uh, transitating, it's a perfect, perfect spot to come here. The guys are just amazing. It's really important to give to the customer this uh, feeling of uh, being welcome, of uh, showing total transparency uh, uh, taking a look at the bike, uh, we have here uh, windows, uh, people they actually can see their bike, they see, they can see the mechanics working on their bike and you have this, uh, you know, this uh, friendly, friendly approach which I think uh, it's really important in these days and uh, this can actually make a difference, you know, it's for me, for my side, uh, a big thumbs up uh, for the Honda Asco service. We're starting to mount the quick shifter. First, uh, we have to loose uh, the bolts. The cable which connects uh, the quick shifter to the computer comes underneath this uh, plastic part, which uh, needed to be taken off. So we take off this plastic part and then try to insert this cable underneath it. We need to lose the bolt in order to take out easily this uh, bracket which uh, actions the gear shifter. Easily unscrew this, um, this bolt. And now we are removing this plastic cover, which is uh, located uh, on the left side, close to the gear shifter. 
This uh, additional uh, quick shifter support for the cable. This, the, this is the quick shifter support bracket. This is the quick shifter bracket which needed to be mounted extra. There's another screw on the back side. Please don't forget it. It's on the left side. You have to take out also this one. This uh, should be covered and unseen by the cables. So it's just over there. To have access to it, you have to take out the, the cable, which are sticked together. And then there is space to unbolt the last one. Yeah. What we recommend is to leave the bike to chill out for a while because uh, due to the heat, the bolts uh, could be dilated and uh, it's easier to take them out when the engine is uh, cold. This plastic has some, uh, some pins and it's quite quite easy afterwards to take it out with care don't uh, don't rush and this is the plastic this is the plastic cover let's take a look for the moment it's very clean i wonder how it will be after a few hundred kilometers in the dirt or it has quite a decent quality and uh, also this uh, metal part which protects it uh, in case you are tied it up. This stopper, uh, we have, you have to check out its position. This is the right position. You have to check it out in the manual. We have the uh, shown instructions uh, provided for you also. So as you can see here, install as shown. This is number six, which uh, we have here. So number six, install as shown and now gently we put it back basically we took out uh, all this plastic to put this uh, bracket over here the upper bracket so actually we took out this plastic only to put the upper bracket to install it quite a big job for a small uh, piece to be mounted it's very important to put a bracket correctly because otherwise the quick shifter could not uh, work properly because here we have a sensor and this sensor, it's uh, quite important for a proper quick shifting. Plus, another thing which uh, makes this bracket so important is that the cable could uh, rub itself and get uh, damaged during usage. The same procedure with this bracket, it's used also for the Honda Hornet. So uh, I will recommend to be very careful when mounting yourself this uh, quick shifter because there are some details which actually can make the difference. You can tie it up uh, not so strong by hand. You feel it. This is what we have left to mount uh, from the quick shifter. We put it here together. The bracket, two bolts. We had to reuse this one. You have to keep it. The one which is connected to the gear shifter this uh, this bolt please keep the original one because it's not provided uh, a new one in the kit this uh, zip tie which will uh, connect the cables this zip tie will connect uh, this part over here from the cables to bring the cables uh, much closely we have then to uh, to open this one to be able to pull the cables uh, to the right side underneath uh, these plastics over here. Yeah, we have to arrange these cables in order to be able to connect the um, quick shifter connection to the computer. All right, we take out this one. This is the connection for the sensor CKP. We don't know exactly what this means, but uh, yeah, this is the, the sensor which we had to disconnect in order to make rooms for the cables inside here you say on the mounting procedure here you can see first disconnect the ckp sensor connector as shown 
from the right side and we have to reach this connection which is on the left side Asta e pe partea stângă, mufa asta. Era pe centru. Ah, și este pus un uh, dummy cum ar veni. Da. And this is the dummy connection. You can uh, check it out by this green uh, green dots. This was the dummy connection which was placed here. We took it out and make room for the new connection of the quick shifter. First we have the the bolt which comes there. There is a pin. There is a pin uh, over there on this uh, sprocket. You can uh, see it, and the pin needs to be aligned with this, uh, and the pin needs to be aligned with this spacer around here. So uh, maybe you can check it out. After it's aligned, uh, you can tighten up the bolt. Da, da, da. The the joint there at the joint needs to be in the middle. There's no specific instructions to grease. This uh, joint here from the quick shifter. If uh, we are thinking that if we grease it, uh, then we attract more and more uh, mud over there, and then it will be difficult to clean it afterwards. And now we connect. We connect the pins where the dummy connection was. And this is it. We connect the quick shifter cable. Pe partea cealaltă faci ceva? And now to pull the connector on the right side, you need to play a little bit with the cables. Ah, deci conectorul tragi spre mijloc, nu? Da. The joint uh, the joint needs to be put back on the position on the right side. Retrag la locul lui. Mhm. asta la loc. We put this back and maybe we take out uh, the joint and move it in the middle so the position the correct position of the cable it's underneath the battery this is the place where the battery is and the cable should be underneath the battery inside i hope you are able to see better i try to film uh, as good as possible so underneath the battery you can see uh, where the red dots are you can see there the connection now we put the zip tie și asta leagă cablurile, nu le ținem da. pe unul. Nu, doar asta trebuie să-l pun. A, doar asta, doar cablul de... Da, doar asta ca să fie pe poziție, să aibă un free play. The zip tie needs to be placed uh, on the quick shifter cable, on that uh, indicated position, for the free play. Deci ca să aibă un joc, nu? Da, să nu stea nici în tensiune, dar nici... Și... It should have this free play uh, not to be too tight or too loose. <laughs> So uh, we tied up with the Z-Play to have proper, proper free play, this, uh, this quick shifter cable. We connect it to that bracket with the zip tie. Perfect. And here there is another tight, tight up the cables. You just press it and it's connected. And now we have to measure it. We have the correct measurements uh, displayed on the installation instructions. And here we have the installation instructions when we have these uh, measurements. 98 millimeters, then 10 millimeters, 12 millimeters on the bottom, another 5.5 millimeters and 6.6, 6.5 millimeters on the upper side. We have these correct measurements around here. So 98 millimeters you have to measure between these two nuts, the upper and the bottom nut, for proper quick shifting. So 98 millimeters is the standard uh, measurement, but this is, can also be adjusted according to the rider. And then on this part, uh, we should have 6.6 millimeters. After you put 98 millimeters, uh, it's quite a challenge to uh, tighten it up because you, can, you don't have a counter bolt to, to stick on it and to tighten it. You need to 
keep it by hand and tidy it up. So 98 millimeters starting from here up to here. And now we have to tie it up this ones. And at the end uh, we tied up the last bolt. Just a small tip, it's better to put with uh, some, uh, some white, uh, white writing with a pen to mount uh, and to show exactly where the bolt is, where the washers are, just to be sure that you check them out. And also you can verify it afterwards to see if uh, from the vibrations uh, these nuts uh, are getting loose. This is a small tip, so use a pen a white uh, white pen somehow to mark where you've uh, mounted and after the after you mounted you can uh, actually use this mark and now after installing the quick shifter we need to activate it from the uh, dashboard check out the quick shifter looks very nice and especially it's not the looking but the functionality i've tested it uh, on the Horna Hornet on the racing track and I was really impressed but I need to give a feedback also to this one after using it for a couple of times to activate the quick shifter you need to connect uh, a pin underneath the seat first you have to open the seat and connect the CSC short connector to uh, actually activate and be able to choose the option of the activating the quick shifter from the dashboard. And then uh, there are these procedures, open the seat and connect the SCS short connector, then turn the ignition switch on with the engine stop switch run, but does not start the engine. Push and hold the select right switch to enter the setting mode. And from here, the things are going uh, easily. But first, let's see where we connect the S SCS connector. This is the SCS, uh, this is where we put the SCS connector. This is the cable which this is, is the located. Uh... This is a diagnose cable connection. From here, you can connect uh, to the bike and have a diagnose uh, made by the dealer. The quick shifter cannot be activated without entering in the dealer mode in the dealer mode by connecting to this uh, connection. Either you come to the dealer to activate it or you buy the SCS connection. De unde o cumpără? This SCS connection you can buy it from the dealer. Uh, you buy it from the dealer and uh, they will instruct you to make it yourself. Otherwise, you cannot activate the quick shifter. So our suggestion is to come here at the uh, Honda by ASCO in the service, buy this connection and then you can activate the quick shifter. So this is the connection, the SCS small connection which you connect it and uh, use it for installing and activating the quick shifter. You put it here and uh, now you can activate the quick shifter let's check it out maintenance ah wait a come quick shifter initialize quick shifter and now you have the options to put it on da 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 for sure here you can activate also the grip heater and fog lights preparing for initialization and the thickness of the quick shifter it's recommended to put it as high as possible the reaction of the quick shifter should be placed at maximum in order to protect uh, the clutch preparing for initialization And now the quick shifter, it's 
Initialize. You have re received the message, initialize succeeded. Now we take off the connector. No. After the quick shifter, it's initialized. Ah, da, uite. Și este mult mai lejer, știi? Bine, bine să...